run for you know, a few weeks ago, but you're doing it. He said it's you all the time uh, when cameras aren't on us, but this isn't about winning a race. This is about starting down the path of running. The whole reason we're doing this, and, and you know, it was like, I wanted you to start doing healthy things to combat your anxiety and stress and all that stuff. And, and you know, how do we deal with where you were four years ago to where you are now? And, and how do you deal with all that new stuff? The feelings, the emotions, the decision making, all these things. It's a lot. I never thought about being a runner. I never even ran, ever. The 5K run in New York City, I have to prepare for this. I have to train for this every day. I know I signed up for a challenge, and I look forward to this because I am a challenge acceptor. I'm running to find peace. I'm running to find happiness. I'll be able to stretch my mind and send it to places that I never even thought about. Yo, what up, everybody? It's your boy Gator. Today is World Mental Health Day. I had to tap in and let y'all know that. A lot of y'all know I struggle with bipolar disorder and high anxiety. But guess what? I've been starting this new journey running, and I've been practicing on my anxiety, letting all this energy out every day. And I just want to focus on the importance of mental health. Just let y'all know that I love y'all. Anything is possible. You are not alone. It's okay to not be okay. And I love y'all. Keep fighting a good fight. It's your boy Gator. Yeah. When I found out that I was bipolar, a lot of people weren't able to receive that. They were looking at me like the crazy guy, like he's not wrapped too tight. And in my community, when you share your thoughts and say, yo, I need help, that's a sign of being weak. But to me, that's a sign of being a man. <sighs> my mind is just always racing. I'm always thinking positive things. I'm thinking negative things. I thought that I was using my energy in the right way. I thought I was just being outspoken or a little bit more talkative than the normal kid. Cause I have so much like, tension build up inside of me just naturally because of my environment. I grew up in Los Angeles, South Central. I started seeing a lot of negative things, you know. I saw a lot of my friends lose their lives in the streets. Saw a lot of people go to jail. So for me, I wanted to stay on a straight path. My environment made me the man that I am, but I was also able to make a lot of wise decisions in the process. Every day I walk outside, I got to be on point. I got to be sharp. I never even thought about going outside to take a jog. I was worried about like, hey, I don't want to go outside and get shot today, so it might be better for me to stay inside the house. Those were the type of problems that I had to deal with. I wanted to make sure I went outside with a purpose. Like I was on my skateboard, I was playing basketball. I played t-ball, flag football, tackle football, but I love basketball, that's my favorite sport. It gives me a sense of discipline. Like, when you go to work, you gotta show up on time. When you go to practice, you gotta show up on time. It really made me feel good as a kid knowing that I had something to do. And that's everything about today with me. Like, as long as I got something to do, I'm good. And a lot of entertainers, a lot of people feel so closed in. That's something new that I'm experiencing, just being able to be outside and to channel my energy in a positive, productive way. I wanna focus on my mental health because my mental health is everything. And I know I got a lot on my plate, but this is perfect for a person like me. I get to really feel like a professional athlete for the first time after I tried to make so many teams, got cut so many times. I finally get to feel like somebody believes in me. Somebody wants me to do something positive for myself. The power of the mind is so strong. Like right now, Mm -hmm. I don't see myself at the finish line. I see myself like, <sighs> <laughs> like you know, I don't, right. I don't see the victory yet. No, it's three miles for this 5K. I don't want you to have a worry in your mind that you won't be able to get through it. So I don't want you to be nervous about race day. That part is going to be right. the fun part eventually. <laughs> yeah, you know what they say. And if you don't get butterflies, then, you know, is it really a challenge? If you there don't you get go. nervous, is it really worth doing? To be honest, I only have a little experience when it comes to running. Mm -hmm. I played basketball in my youth when I was younger, teenager, played, mm -hmm. you know, flag football, baseball, uh -huh. things of that nature. 
but I never really laced up a pair of shoes. I have a lot of friends that play basketball and they were like, running was always kind of like a punishment. Like we had to do suicides if we were late. Running has meant so much to me and given me so much in my life. I think with Gaeta, it's gonna be a really great opportunity for him to use this as a tool, as an outlet. I want you to just put the struggle out of your out of your mind and just think of this as learning something new. It's about consistency, right? I feel the biggest mind-body connection when I'm running. I feel most beautiful, most relaxed. My thinking feels sharpest. It's a refresher. You go out for a run and you always feel better when you're done. We'll start with like a little assessment to see like where you are and just build from there. You know what I mean? It's not gonna be one of these things where you have to run every day unless you want to. You know, right, right, um, right. but you can still be prepared for this, for this race. Yeah, I'm excited to see how my health is and how my conditioning is and how my stamina is. You mm -hmm. know, you say we're going up the hill, and I could definitely feel it in my calves right now mm -hmm. as we're walking on this. What is it called? An incline. Yes. You know what I'm saying? You uh, got it. I'm excited. Correct I, 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 terminology. Yeah, I'm trying to do my best. You know, <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm out here trying to be prepared. You know what okay. I'm saying? My approach to this 5K run is that I want to finish and I want to finish strong and I just want to take my health to the next level. I think it's going to help other people too. When they see me doing it, that's just my true desire to inspire. I really want to practice a healthy lifestyle just so I can live longer, to be honest, because where I come from, it's a blessing to see 21, 100. You OK? What's going on? Your knees hurting? We're going to get you set up with some foam rollers, Damn, a little ball for your man? foot. <laughs> yeah. This, man. this is real. Uh-oh. Okay. Ain't no faking in this right here. <laughs> All that cool shit ain't working out here. For real. This is so funny. It's like when you pop the hood on the engine, you see all the rusty parts. That's how I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the outside look good. <laughs> Damn, this shit is really real. I thought I was just going to be strolling along. All right, come on. Let's get to it. Come on. All right. We fight light, and I feel better, too. <laughs> I've been starting to visualize myself, and to be honest, it's kind of overwhelming because like, I've never even thought about doing this. I'm battling me and myself every day. I'm trying to push my body past the point of, oh, it hurts, but I want to keep going. We're doing this for mental health awareness. We're doing this for physical health, mind, body, soul, your spirit, they're all connected. If I don't come in first place, 10th place, it doesn't matter. As long as I get across that finish line, that's all that matters. But we'll check in a couple weeks from now.